KSM 9. Well, as we have previously mentioned, I had the opportunity to compete at Miss Texas 2021 last week as Miss El Paso County. And with me on that stage was one of the most talented, smart, and kind-hearted individuals who got crowned as Miss Texas 2021, Mallory Fuller. The first runner-up is... video and the one and only Mallory Fuller Miss Texas 2021 joins us here at KTSM. Hello Mallory. Hello how are you? I am doing great. I love seeing that crown on your head. Thank you so much <laughs> for joining us here on KTSM and I know this dream has been years in the coming for you but for those who don't know please tell us how it all began. So I started in the Miss Texas organization when I was only six years old. I was a Lone Star Princess, which is a mentorship program for young girls ages 5 to 12. And I really grew up in this organization. I was a Lone Star Princess for several years, and then I also competed in the Miss Texas Outstanding Teen Pageant. And then this was my fourth year to compete at Miss Texas. So it's been a very long time coming. I've had this dream since I was a little girl, and it's so fulfilling to finally see all of that come to fruition. Well, I'm glad that this was your year. You definitely deserve it. But for people who may not know about the Miss Texas organization, what is this organization all about and what does it mean to you? The Miss Texas organization is one of the best professional and personal development programs, in my opinion, but it also is one of the largest scholarship providers for young women. Um, I am so fortunate to have been awarded over $20,000 in scholarships for me to put towards my education to become a speech pathologist. So one of the most amazing organizations that anybody can be a part of and really just such an opportunity to grow and to learn and to put yourself out there and get out of your comfort zone. I love it. And part of the competition, one of the phases of competition was talent and you actually played the fiddle. So tell us about your talent and how you started with that. I started playing the violin when I was six years old. I started because my older sister Morgan played and I remember being a little girl and just wanting to be just like my older sister. And so I started playing and it wasn't so great. I had to practice a lot, but I actually won the talent award at Miss Texas. So that was also another moment for me that was really rewarding to be able to see all of the hard work pay off and really feel like my older sister Morgan. <laughs> I absolutely love it. And Mallory is actually also a children's book published author, and you can find more information on that through her social media platforms. I believe you're on Instagram as Miss America TX, is that correct? Yeah. Miss America Texas. <laughs> Perfect. So you can definitely follow her journey on social media. And Mallory, really quickly, what legacy do you want to leave behind as Miss Texas once your year is over? So my social impact is Mallory's mission, suicide prevention, and I would love to be remembered as somebody who used this year to the best of her ability to promote my social impact and to be able to save lives, um, as well as just somebody who made everyone feel special. Thank you so much for joining us, Mallory. And El Paso is definitely rooting for you as you head on over to Miss America. So make sure to keep us updated on that. Best of luck and continue doing great things for Texas. Thank you so much. Thank you, and don't go too far because we have more news and weather after the break.